hey guys and welcome to push start play. this week we're going to be having a look at resident evil six. my name's ben abbott, joining me this time is ben fox hello and sean greenav hello hey guys now let's just quickly go over this uh <laughs> i'm really annoyed because there is no more resident evil you know the big evil voice when you start the game what is with that i i don't care about anything else <laughs> at this stage where is that voice gone i don't know that it's, there's no point going on really Okay, so roughly, do you guys know where this game picks up after Resident Evil 5? Uh, Sean's the resident expert. Sure. Ah, uh, pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, um, picking up, have we, it's, you know, a couple of years after Resident Evil 5, or what's going on? Oh, I'd need to do some maths. Uh, it's about two, three years after Resident Evil 5, I believe. I was just going to say, like, at this point, you'd expect Leon to know that this dude is a zombie <laughs> and to shoot him. <laughs> yeah. United States, who is now a zombie. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I like the way he takes that long to, to decide he should probably act. Because, I mean, this yeah. guy is dripping with blood. He's, you know, shambling towards him. Like, George, you probably recognize that he's a zombie by this stage. And there's yeah. no moving him. So, who is this chick? What is she doing? I, I have no idea who this woman is. Do we? Have... Well, we, we don't yet. She's like a freshly introduced character, I think. So she's fresh meat. <laughs> she's gonna die. So uh, she's not from any previous Resident Evil games. So a lot of characters, say for instance, the um, in what is it? Is Jake? Is is that the name of the other character? Yeah, Jake's the, yeah. the third guy. Yeah. Yeah, you've got because the guy who's uh, the girl who's with him. She's from what? What did you say yesterday? It was Sean. It was Resident Evil. Well, she's kind of two. Two. Yeah, two. I mean, it's nice yeah. that they, they have returned to Leon because that's something that bothered me a little bit about Resident Evil 5 is that Chris, I just didn't sort of associate with him quite as much because he was this massive steroid fueled muscle man. Yeah. Who just seemed to communicate in grunts. Um, well, yeah, definitely. I kind of, in my mind, I kind of wish they dumped all the resources into a decent Leon game. Yeah. I mean, I just, okay. yeah, I'd really love to see a return to kind of the Resident Evil 4 style. I mean, that's certainly what they're kind of doing with this one. Do you, do you guys reckon it's actually quite as effective? Because um, you've all played it, so... Well, the demo, as far as the demo is concerned. Yes. Uh, maybe not. There are a few things that I, I had to get used to. It kind of, it, it didn't have the kind of grounded, weighted feel that 4 had, I don't think, or doesn't have yet. Um, but at the same time, I don't, I don't, because a lot of people are kind of really up in arms about it, and I'm, yeah, I, I equally don't really understand that either, because uh, at least compared to five, it seems quite a lot darker and even more atmospheric. So, um, so yeah, I mean that's kind of where I stand. Yeah, it's certainly atmospheric. I mean, the, the the issue I've had consistently when I've been playing it is that it's not scary. There's no, it's not kind of. I don't feel in any kind of sense of jeopardy. It's not scary, but then 4 wasn't scary at all either, I don't think. I suppose. Well, I mean, it was very... Um, I mean, certainly it had the... I mean, the, you remember that first level where you're in that village? Village, yeah. yeah. Everyone coming to get you. You just... You're like, shit, I literally have no fucking idea what I'm doing at this stage. And you just yeah. completely outmatched. And this one, I and, and throughout 4, I remember feeling that, that I felt very... Uh, outgunned whereas here i just feel like a complete badass who is able to pretty much take out anything that gets in my way uh, i think um it would be I, well i think the main thing to be honest is just the fact that it's uh, you're never alone in any of it i think leon's bit would have been in as far in this demo anyway would have been more scary if he'd been by himself yeah um i i think uh, i mean it's a simple thing but I, that's why five wasn't scary because you never you never feel like you're being our match because you've always got someone to kind of rip against and and shoot the shit out of stuff. So uh, I yeah I think I too much think that's the main reason. If he was if he was alone in this now I reckon it'd be, you know, j about as scary as four. I mean, zombies seem to go down about as easily as they did in four. It doesn't look like it's much of a difficulty thing. I mean, I played it with Sean yesterday and I was still bad at it and I still nearly died once or twice. But then I'm quite bad at games. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, to be honest, I was a bit rubbish as well. I mean, I'm. This is from a recording I did with Sean yesterday. He's playing Helena, um, <laughs> and we. Uh, I mean, one thing we both quite enjoyed was the 
was the communication system where you can just do ridiculous thumbs up at each other all the time. <laughs> Use that. You will see that many times throughout these videos. Along with commando rolls, I think, at the end of this one, where we're just dropping and rolling for no obvious reason. Yeah. Um, I mean, that, that, this is this is something for me that I, I think, aesthetically, it, what on earth has happened? Because looking at the walls, looking at the, the architecture of this place, it looks like it's been abandoned for about, what, 20, 30 years? And clearly... Yeah meant to be a university campus that's just been hit by the zombie well not apocalypse but some kind i mean i think they, they were talking about some kind of fog or something that, that's yeah. converting everyone into zombies and so for me this kind of doesn't really make sense what's going it's, it, it feels like it's trying to be gritty and scary so it's gone for that aesthetic but it just doesn't make actual sense as why it would be like that and that really takes me out of the moment um i mean obviously we don't know the context of this of this point of the game, but I rather suspect that again, it's supposed to be a, an active campus. Hence, what? Why? Why else would the president be there? Well, are you? Are we definitely sure that those um, scenes are kind of chronologically following each other? Well, because, um, I, I suppose they. Mm, well, uh, yes, yeah, no, actually, no, I am sure because they said that um, you have to get to the the what was it, the church tower or something, and they're trying to get off campus. Right. Okay. And, and the previous demo that you got with Dragon's Dogma, that actually starts directly after Leon shoots the president and is still on the same campus. Okay. Hmm. The fact that you're far more maroon, um, bleh, bleh, maneuverable, that's the word I'm looking for, especially with, say, you can actually aim and shoot at the same time, not aim and shoot, aim and move at the same time, which is sort of a massive jump over five where you had to stop and shoot, which was just ridiculous, especially with the, the action focus. Definitely, yeah. I think I think that's something. I mean, I've, I've read comments saying that that's kind of taking away the... Uh the atmosphere simply because you're not limited as a player but i kind of think if you're relying on a broken control scheme to uh to evoke horror then you're uh, you're, you're fundamentally failing as a game designer so um i mean certainly i don't think i mean like you say it's, i don't think actually oh there we go before i say that we're doing the sort of the customizing that's come back from four and five hasn't it where you can sort of combine uh your herbs to make stronger sort of health packs as it were am i right yeah. <laughs> what happens if you add, say, a... Because you can get red herbs and green herbs. Remind me, what happens if you add a red herb and a green herb? Oh, I didn't actually do it in the demo. Presumably, it um, in 5, it, it extends your health bar. Okay. Uh, maybe it does that here. I'm not sure. And this is something I quite like. I think, Sean, you mentioned yesterday that if one person picks up the items, everyone gets them. Yeah, like they're still there for the other person to pick up. So it's not a case of where you're playing Resident Evil 5, you have to actually share the ammo between two people. Yeah. And this is Unless you've got an unlimited bow and arrow. Well, yeah. <laughs> and this is obviously the... Uh, well, that's your kind of almost your map marker, isn't it? Where you press RB and it tells you where you should be going in kind of almost a detective mode style Arkham City type Yeah. You. Yeah, that's pretty cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that you've gone for the uh, default crosshair, not the laser sight. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't even know I could change it. To be honest, good. I, I was... Yeah, man. You can change change it to old school, and you can change the color of the laser. <laughs> oh wow! You're getting, you're getting custom. Yeah, See, this is something I quite liked. Is that to open doors, they have to touch it first. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Get to the security gate. It's quite a pretty you game, has to be said. Yeah, I was kind of, uh, I was mixed on Leon's bit. I think I, I went in quite negatively to it and was kind of looking for visual flaws. But then I think especially in Chris's bit with that snowy town he's in, I thought the architecture and everything looked brilliant. No, exactly. I think it is. I mean, that's something that I've always quite liked about Resident Evil. They are always quite visually impressive yeah. games, certainly from where I've been, you know, from where I'm sitting. I mean, when Resident Evil 4 was out on the GameCube, for instance, that was amazing how good that Sorry. looked the system. Okay, looks like we're going to have to split this campaign into two, otherwise we're going to overrun. So make sure you have a look in the description, I'll link the next video there, or take a look in the sidebar, and hopefully we'll catch you in a moment.